Okay, I thought I'd come on and show what the, what I was going to do with the other set of covers. This time I've just gone with my glue gun and done some designs straight on the chipboard. And I've done this technique before, and yes, it will work on um, other things, canvases, board, you know, wood, metal. And then I went over it with some gesso, just, just one coat, because I'm probably going to do black more black over it before I start putting some colors on this one I did I did the brown on the last one trying to go for a kind of a rust look and um, on this one I'm gonna actually try to go for more of a like a metal look when it's done so I'm gonna start with black all right my camera's telling me my battery is dead just since it was half charged just a second ago that would make complete sense so <laughs> I'm going to put some black on here, and then I'll come back with show you my colors that I'm going to start with. Alright. I've got the, um, I've got the black on. You can see the detail maybe just a little bit better. And of course it's still wet. I'm waiting for it to dry. But I thought I'd, I thought I'd tell you another little tip. Um, I just use like a baking parchment paper when I'm painting and um, it's kind of like non-stick even even with the paint um, stuff will pull off of it pretty easy and stuff so it really works pretty good I, I like it and then I can just toss it away when it's um, I don't have a craft mat so I've got glass on my on my table which you can do anything on heat on it, it protects my cutting mat and everything from heat and so I used to work, I was a, you know, I used to work at a business forms printing company as a graphic illustrator. So, um, I worked on a glass, you know, light, light table. So I'm used to, I'm used to working on the glass is what I'm trying to say. So that's why my table's covered with glass. So, here's the colors. I've decided to use this, um, Lumiere Metallic Olive Green. This Folk Art. have no clue what color it is. Oh, here we go. blue sapphire sorry I had paint on it <laughs> oh well hmm. you can give it to me in every language except for English well oh. oh this one is on the front so sorry metallic ice blue and this one's the metallic paradigm so those are the colors I'm going to use like I did on the last one so I'll get those painted on there after this dries and I'll come back. And I would not um, use my heat gun at this point because you will remelt your glue uh, if you get too close. Now if you did it from a good ways away it probably wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt. But it will cause your paint to start to bubble if it gets too hot. So you'll mess up your nice smooth surface. So I, I'm going to have to stop and charge my battery. And um, I'll go ahead and paint my colors on there and then I'll come back. Whoa. Sorry. Flashed a little glare. Okay, here they are so far. Just with the colors of paint, just pounced on there. This time just kind of willy nilly, so to speak. However you want to say that randomly. Because it's going to, of course, mostly be covered up, just like the last one. All right, and again, there was the colors that I used. Okay, I'm going to put a clear coat on, and mm, I'm going to think about it a minute, <laughs> and I'll be back. Now I'm starting to like it. I don't know why I'm kind of... That way, I like it all grungy and <laughs> antique looking, I guess. <coughs> so again, I just used some of this home decor antiquing gel, and this time it's just in the black. There were three colors of that, the brown, the warm brown or whatever it was, the black, and then the uh, pickling gel that I think I'm fixing to use, which is um, called Ice Blue. And these were from, 
These were from Amber's years ago. And I actually think like Michael's bought out a bunch of the Amber stores. So I'm not sure whether it's something you can still get or not. But anyway, that's where we are to this point. And of course, you could definitely leave them just like that because they are really pretty. And I'm very tempted, but I'm going to use that pickling gel and see what, see what happens. So, I'm going to keep going. I'll be back. Alright, here they are. <coughs> this is the finished set done with the pickling gel. And then I went over with some silver. actually called gleams <laughs> and once again I have no clue how old this stuff is if it's even made anymore it looks like it's by Delta yeah ceramic coat acrylics but it's got a lot of um, metallic pigment in it it's really really opaque and bright so I really like it so let me see if I can get some of the Maybe this will be a little easier to show some of the texture just from the from the glue itself. Because after I did all the swirls and everything, there were of course lots of glue strings, and I just used the heat gun and kind of set them down in there. I didn't even try to get rid of them; I just let them land where they may. And so here's that pickling gel again. And I really think I like the, uh, I really think I like the effect. So. And I know that color looks like a definite line right there, but it's not that stark in reality. Anyway, there you go. There's the second set. Hope y'all like them. I've had uh, a lot of fun doing them. If y'all got any questions, just ask.